Even though my robot's fully loaded, he can't walk yet because he still needs a brain. And that's where roboticist Dan Lee comes in. The first thing we're going to show you is how the robot uses its vestibular sense, which is its sense of balance. Vestibular from the word vestibule, which is one of the things in our ears. Exactly, inside your inner ear. And so without using its vestibular sense, what would happen if we pushed a robot? All right. It just will fall over oh. and then get back up. <laughs> wow, that's, that's pretty cool right there. <laughs> so go ahead. Exactly. Wow. So now what we've done is we trained this robot using something called reinforcement learning. So exactly what you just did, we kept pushing the robot over and over, and it was now able to figure out that every time it fell down, it was kind of a form of punishment. When Darwin falls, his software gets an electronic signal that basically says, this is bad. After being bullied around hundreds of times, he finally learns it's better to do this. Fall over. Oh, no. So the hundreds of different reps are so that it can learn from this angle and this angle and this hard and this hard and this hard. Exactly. I yes. see. Dan's even teaching his robots to learn through imitation. We will, we will rock you. This camera detects my body's movement and sends that information to Darwin's software, which quickly translates it into a copycat movement of his own. You'd think with all this sophisticated software, Darwin would be able to keep up with me. Look forward! Oh, so sorry! <laughs> but he can't. Just trying to make a robot walk steadily is ridiculously difficult. I won't say impossible, because I don't like that word, but it's a very, very difficult challenge.